please give it to us the bible says if the foundations be destroyed what can the it didn't say what can the people do the righteous even though they are the righteous by the time the foundation is destroyed the bible says there is serious problem the word foundation is a very important word i wish i had the time to teach but this is a miracle service tonight foundation simply means the point of origin foundation means the starting point architecturally foundation means the load bearing part of a building usually invisible so when the bible talks about foundations he means the starting point that there is something about the starting point of a man and that if it is faulty there has to be a rule of engagement to correct it in other words to see the mighty and outstretched arm of god hallelujah in matthew chapter 7 from verse 24 jesus himself was teaching and he said it does not matter the dexterity of your architecture no matter how true how powerful what you build is if it is built on a faulty foundation he gives you a guarantee that something will go wrong i will liken him he says to a wise man which built his house on a rock to 27 next verse the bible says the rain descended the floods came and the wind blew and beat upon that house and it fell not not because of the paint not because of the strength of the materials that were used simply because it was on a very solid foundation next verse 26 it says so also there is someone who built his house what was common with both of them is that they built and they built well there was no problem with the building maximum architecture was employed in the building but the problem was the foundation listen very carefully the same thing that happened to the one who had a house on the rock happened to the one who had a house on sand and the bible says the last verse 27 that the same rain the same winds the same floods came and the bible says it fell and so great was the fall of it can i tell you the truth faulty spiritual foundations have prophetic spiritual implications to the point that it can seem to cripple the hand of God over the life of a man. Most believers do not understand that the realm of the spirit has a predefined modus operandi. And if you do not know how the realm of the spirit operates, you can keep wishing for things to happen and keep being embarrassed forever. The psalmist said, listen, if I keep using emotions and I keep complaining and I keep grumbling, I may not receive any result. But I need to drop all this aside and say, have respect for the covenant. Not just my tears, not just what I feel, not just my prayer request. Are we together? When Hezekiah in chapter 38 of Isaiah when Isaiah came and prophesied to him and said, put your house in order, you will not recover. The Bible says he turned his face to the wall and said, remember how I have walked diligently before you in truth and with a perfect heart. And I have done that which is good in your sight. He didn't say, remember, I am a king. He needed to use a basis to say, I can't die, not based on this. There are rules of engagement in this kingdom. Now, let me tell you the truth. As powerful as God is, as powerful and mighty as God is, he didn't cast sin out of man. Why will God seem to be so helpless when he was the one who created man? He was the one who created the devil that caused man to fall. If God wiped the whole, the whole earth and heaven, why did he not just wipe Satan away and start afresh? If I were God, why would I go through the labor of coming to die as creator? He was not co-creator. He was creator and is creator. You thought he would just say sin.
get out of man satan vanish dematerialize and go away i am god is still within his power is there anything too hard but even god had to submit to the modus operandi of the spirit are we together now negotiated and sent jesus jesus came through the womb of a virgin walked 30 years died was buried went to the grave all to save man's sin was it that hard for god when you understand that you will stop the realm of wishing and hoping that things will change god you are mighty it does not take you anything to lift me you are right but you will still remain in that situation because that is not what compels the mighty hand of god let me tell you the truth god is touched by his love but he arises based on his honor to the modus operandi of the realm of the spirit have respect unto the covenant for the dark places of the earth are a habitation of cruelty many of us come from families that have fraternized with darkness foundationally many of us right now are sitting on all kinds of demonic things that we have not engaged the word of god and spiritual understanding to bring liberty practically and yet we keep saying it does not matter and our lives keep showing that there is a legitimate ground for the continuity of certain things please listen carefully i when it has to do with oppression and the rules of the spirit it does not care whether you are a preacher it does not care whether you are sincere the bible says the ones who will be asking questions are even the righteous that if the foundation be destroyed it is the righteous who will even be complaining hallelujah for instance in joshua chapter 6 from verse 26 when joshua destroyed jericho he made a pronouncement by the spirit listen carefully joshua adjured them at that time saying cause be the man before the lord that rises up and builded this city jericho he said he shall lay the foundation in his firstborn and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it joshua made a pronouncement that anybody that rises to rebuild jericho again as that person lays the foundation he will lay it on the life of his firstborn and as he completes it he will complete it on the life of his lastborn first kings chapter 16 let me show you something i have verse 33 now the man called ahab the Bible says he made a grove and Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel that were before him. Read verse 34, please. Or let me just read it and you listen. He said, in his days did Hiel, the Bethelite, build Jericho. Is that in your Bible? The Bible says he laid the foundation in Abiram, his firstborn. If you were the firstborn of that man, it was not your fault to be the firstborn. You just know that as soon as they started that project, a mysterious disease will come upon you and you'll be wondering, what did I do wrong? Not knowing that a speaking is looking for you. And you may go and say, but medical doctors will check you. What is wrong with the machine cannot diagnose what is wrong. Not knowing that the person who spoke has died, yet the prophetic word is still in force. Abiram started getting mysteriously sick until he died, the firstborn. And the man still refused in defiance. He set up the gates thereof. Now, the Bible does not tell us whether the man was aware of the prophecy or not. Whether he was aware or he was not aware, as far as the prophecy was concerned, whoever triggers it, let it work. Ah. Please listen, please listen, please listen, please listen. Because this is not about being sincere and insincere. What did Abiram do to die? Please talk to me. Did he kill anybody? Did he look for anybody's trouble? His only offense was he was born from a family that decided to fight the prophetic word.
the bible says when he set up the gate his younger son exactly what happened to the elder brother now started happening to the younger brother what is wrong with you again i'm sure the mother will say let's rush to the hospital now according to the word of the lord which he spake by joshua the son of Nun. hallelujah don't you dare think it does not matter that our forefathers buried people alive and while those people were being buried they said we, we, we are dying but the ones who will be alive will be worse than death and they said we don't care when they were shouting at Jesus crucify him they didn't know what they were saying and for many people we say it does not matter if the foundations be destroyed what can the righteous do Deuteronomy chapter 18 from verse 9 there are many people who have subjected themselves in ignorance or by reason of the things that happen in time past it says when thou art come to the land which the Lord giveth thee thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations uh-huh next verse he says there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through fire or that useth divination or an observer of times an enchanter a witch to 12 11 please or a charmer a consultant with familiar spirit or a wizard a necromancer verse 12 for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord and because of these abominations the Lord thy God will drive them out from before thee hallelujah I think I shared a story here in Koinonia and let me say it quickly before we begin to pray about someone who a young lady a, a young woman who wanted a child desperately and she went to somebody and the person said well i know what to do and you will have a child but that when this child is 20 20 on the dot make sure you return this child back for some kind of sacrifice that will be done and the woman looked at the old one and said 20 years from now you probably will be dead she pointed at a tiny boy who was playing there and said this boy will be alive he's the one who will be here this is a case that i handled it's not a story they told me when this lady was 20 on the dot may god help you to come and stand near her and say you like her you see what will happen to you you came innocently on it's not like any you are bad you are not bad church born again person just came and things started going haywire and then people started advising the mother say quietly go to that man and resolve whatever it is or his son so someone recommended her that she would come to me when she came and I looked at a lady, wonderful lady, wonderful woman, the realm of the spirit doesn't care. Did you hear what I said? Wonderful lady, wonderful man, the realm of the spirit does not care. Foundations are powerful. Foundations are powerful. Regions have foundational problems. You know the power of foundations by the patterns that follow. The patterns as it happened to son it happened to father it happened to elder brother families where women feed the men no matter how hard-working the men are something must happen hallelujah but this is why God has ordained a meeting like this because in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God everything that needs to be corrected for your glory to rise everything that needs to be put in place this night in the presence of the angels and the presence of the mighty one who is the king of glory it must be corrected this night yeah. hallelujah i came from a background and a family and a region where i didn't see some things happen to people I had to sit down and study it sincerely and and to be honest myself that if i have to rise to a position where i'll be able to serve and honor the name of the lord at a global scale there are things that need to be corrected and done i've told you my story as a man of god demons used to oppress me most people will not tell you the truth 
They didn't care that I was anointed. It didn't stop the sick from being healed though. Yet I will go to bed and here comes this wicked spirit. And because of the prophetic inclination, I would see them. I thought it was so with everyone. How can I go and preach and a spirit is running out in a meeting and yet coming to me in a room and I'm driving it and it's not going. Have respect for the covenant. I know one, a very proud gentleman years ago, he walked into my room, I used to counsel in a small room that time, and he walked to me and I saw a spirit standing behind him. And he was sharing with me some of his challenges. And I said, can I pray for you? It looks like there's something. He said, no, 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 I don't believe that. I said, okay, no problem, I'm sorry. Let me just pray. As I said in Jesus' name, the last thing that gentleman will remember was maybe like 30 or so minutes later on, when he even recovered for the next three days he kept texting me what happened he said this is everything i believe i don't know where to start from let me tell you the truth foundations are real foundations are very very real hallelujah foundations are real you find patterns you find all kinds of demonic things that seem to veto the efforts of men regardless what they do there are sincere men of god who have graces that should be speaking across the globes but these foundations because of an incorrect foundation that has not been dealt with with understanding the devil does not need to cause medical problem a problem of delays and pain and all of that he doesn't need to do that all he needs to do is to ensure that that faulty foundation remains the, the faulty foundation will manufacture itself many kinds of wrong problems. Do you cut a tree by removing the leaves one by one? Think how burdensome that labor is. Foundation. By the time you uproot it, even if the leaves are still green, just leave them as a matter of time. They will dry up because it has lost contact. The same way that tree fell, this is how I declare over someone whatever has connected you in the name of jesus it gives way this night listen carefully this is someone's deliverance already i've shared with you you see by reason of of the prophetic i have i have encountered many spirits I don't share all these testimonies because I want people, people's faith to be grounded on scripture, not just on prophetic experiences. Are we together? Yes. But I, I, I usually repeat the ones I've shared for emphasis. That I was praying one night and all of a sudden my ceiling just disappears. And I see this strange creature having an eye as big as a human head. Two eyes. Fierce anger. Help them please. With the tail that looks like a dinosaur. The tail had its own life separate from the creature. And it was looking at me like I'm looking at you. Fuming. And he says, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance. That is a spirit that controls poverty across territories. Let me speak to someone. Whatever has kept your family down. Honestly, in the name of Jesus Christ. The one who is the lifter of men. I decree and declare every spirit lets you go now let you go now he must let you go now hallelujah sit down please many years ago I came into this city and usually when I come when I'm traveling I would just take a cab moving across the city I'll take a cab and I remember one of the drivers that, you know, I took the cab. He was talking to me and he said, I listened to him. He was speaking in broken English. And he said, there is a spirit in this city that never allows money to stay in the hands of people. This was a driver speaking. And he said he would get money and yet not be able to do anything. So I think maybe they consulted, you know, all these people, they believe in everything. So they consulted a medium or some kind of thing that now told him 
that the moment he has money he should run out of the city and go and start something and he said he was almost completing his house now you don't have to be under that kind of threat there's authority in Christ but it comes through light it does not come through desire the challenge with believers is that we make bold claims of the manifestation of the promises without the requisite level of light and illumination God forbid I can't be in this situation what is the light that supports that statement otherwise you will be wasting your time are we together John 1 5 and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not there are families that it is not sickness that plagues them but this spirit of poverty even if you make so, that someone in that family a director in NMPC they will still be poor are we together there are many people who will bring certificates for you three doctors PhD in a family and none of them has a good job what kind of thing is that there are people who have been in this city the land itself has rejected them everything fights you everything fights you mm -mm. is someone learning maybe there's someone watching there's someone following and you're saying apostle you are just describing my situation as a family we we don't know what the problem is don't know what the problem is you're taking and after two three months here comes this strange and wicked spirit and somebody comes to molest you and by the next day or a few days after you lose the pregnancy that one will need more than medical attention that one will need a miracle service like this in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I know someone who vowed to help a man and I'm telling you, I, I kid you not, by the next day, the person went to the office and the person said, I cannot remember seeing you. Abba! You can't remember seeing me? When you said I should come with my CV tomorrow, for instance, and give me a job, what happened? Hmm. Hallelujah. What of people who actually get things? but they don't have longevity in their life i don't mean physical longevity nothing stays long the moment they have money just start praying for them because it's a matter in one month it goes down once you give them a position just know that in in two or three weeks in that office something must happen then they must lose it it's like if you don't lose good things the realm of the spirit is at a, a state of unrest if there is anything that is on anybody's head here that followed you for this meeting I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I lift it up from you now I lift it up from you now I lift it up from you now hallelujah I know someone who traveled abroad responsibly just when they were checking people at the immigration I think I've shared the story they were looking for somebody who was a thief and they saw him and I think there was a up to 50 percent re resemblance with the thief and they moved him to one room just like that I don't look like a rich man I don't look like somebody who is impacting the world my face now looks like a thief ah no every wrong every veil in the name of jesus that is programming evil over you that makes evil to look like good and good to look like evil i declare that veil is torn from your face torn from your face torn from your face torn from your face hallelujah please hear me true story someone was begging for money from somebody to take care of an emergency in the hospital this is a true story and when the person was doing the transfer something came on the person and he missed the account by one digit and he sent the money to someone else this is a true story 
See, the, thing I've, the things I've seen in this life bar by reason of ministry. How do you plan to bless someone? Then it's when it's now your turn, they miss it by a digit. What was that other person praying that his own account was the one that came? Listen, do you know that God is called, you read your Bible, the sons of Jacob. I hope you know Jacob had 12 sons. Is that true? The first of them was Reuben. Read your Bible. You are Bible students. Jesus is never called the lion of the tribe of Reuben. What happened to the firstborn? Not even Simeon. How did Judah come out to become the lion of the tribe of Judah? When Jacob was blessing his sons, you read your Bible now. He looked at Reuben and he said, you are my strength. You are the, the excellency of my strength. But you are as unstable as the wind. He said, thou shall not excel. And even Jesus, when he came, he refused to identify with that man. He would have polluted his own ministry. Not lion of the tribe of Reuben. Not lion of the tribe of Simeon. Lion of the tribe of Judah. So don't say we are the most enlightened family in our area. The realm of the spirit rearranges based on the covenants you are standing on. Did you hear what I said? It is, you can claim whatever you want to claim. The realm of the spirit with digital precision will rearrange everything based on the, the code that it was programmed with. That means it is possible to be a man physically but the realm of the spirit brings you to a position of a woman and you will find out that you cannot feed your wife because the realm of the spirit does not yet authorize and recognize you as the Abba, the bread provider. You can be a graduate in a family and the one who takes care of them is the one that did not even go to primary school because in the realm of the spirit, that person is standing on a covenant that the realm of the spirit recognizes that one as a breadwinner. I'm saying that because we're about to pray. This miracle service, don't worry, we'll finish on time. Don't say I'm still teaching. This is the deliverance you are receiving. No, tonight you have to be angry. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Can I tell you? Do you know how many gifted people are in this nation and in Africa world ministers music ministers these are people that are supposed to be at a global level but this foundation has kept them you talk with them you are like what are you still doing here there are people who will listen to you and say you are the exact person our company is looking for and after three years they will pass you every day and never call you for a job they would bring an ignorant person and train the person, send the person to France, return the person back and give the person a job. Whereas you already have the qualification. How about ministers of the gospel? Just because you are sincere, let me tell you the truth. Liking you is a grace. Make no mistakes about that. Do you, liking you and receiving of your ministry generationally speaking is a grace you can be sincere and do all you want to do it will still not work is someone learning now wicked spirits programmed in foundations it's like they tie you with a rope. Just when you are moving, you are about to obtain this. The way it pulls your father, it pulls you back. You are on your way going. Whether you are a preacher, it pulls you back. Just when you are reaching your destiny helper, it pulls you back. In the name of Jesus, whatever has tied you, I cut it away from you right now. I cut it away from you right now. I'm saying it again, I cut it away from you. listen can I tell you believe me when I tell you 
you can know that you have had victory over your foundation the result will speak instantly a job that was difficult suddenly comes listen job chapter 42 give us verse 10 and 11 let me show you something you can know when a demonic resistance holding you has left the realm of the spirit and the physical realm will bear witness because the earth listen to me the earth even water is a witness and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends so the lord gave job twice as much as he had but 11 is where i'm really going to what suddenly happened to him you can know captivity has turned around watch this then there came unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before question what drove them you think they just left you think they did every one of them started feeling like I what is why is Job's issue coming to my heart that's because something was corrected in the realm of the spirit watch this the Bible says they did eat bread with him in his house they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the Lord had brought unto him and then this is how God restored him every man also gave him a piece of money so they had it before while he was suffering the same way your uncle has it and is aware that you are in this city you have sent a text sent a text stop sending a text come for miracle service carry an anointing upon your head i hope you believe what i'm teaching you everyone gave him a piece of money what kind of business was he going to start in that state of pain how long would it take him so the lord restored in the realm of the spirit but physically things started happening can i tell you the truth you can know doctors when a patient has malaria how do you know the patient has malaria or typhoid there are signs is that true he goes to the hospital and there's what they call vital signs am i right medical people you now begin to check uh -uh. temperature is running the person is um maybe vomiting stooling or doing whatever how do you know the patient is recovering you know the patient is recovering because things begin to change are there times when you take drugs and find out that the drug did not affect the intended change you still go back to the doctor and say this drug did not work they will now do a further test and say ah we thought it was this so just because it was a drug did not mean it solved every problem as far as your body is concerned you didn't take a drug even though you were on one week medication your body did not recognize it because it was not the solution don't say I have been praying. Don't say they prayed for me. When you take malaria drug for, for what now? Typhoid, it may not work, but it is still drug. Tonight the right drug is coming on your head. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I'm declaring over you, you may not know what is changing. For some of you, as I'm declaring, it's not only your health. By tomorrow, if phone calls, you will wake up with phone calls and say, what is happening to me? What is changing in my life? Listen, please hear me believers, let me tell you the truth. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I've been mandated to insist that your life produces results. Yeah. Hallelujah. Undeniable, unquestionable results. Some of you, by reason of what is on your life, you are supposed to be building houses for people, not even looking for rent. Honestly, because in terms of value, you have worked on yourself. Let me pray for someone again. What is sitting on your destiny that will not let you and your family rise by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Here at Koinonia, all oh, be lifted from your life. Be lifted from your life. Be lifted from your life.
that demonic embargo the cause of the firstborn the cause of the lastborn the cause of siblings the cause of idolatry the cause of necromancy the cause of fathers sacrificing children to be able to get money it may not be my fault but the bible tells me i have an advocate with the father even jesus the righteous i decree and declare already for someone that embargo on your life that programming it must give way this night hallelujah hallelujah you believe in what I'm telling you what is there about the mighty hand of God that you cannot see but let me tell you if the foundations be destroyed when the foundation is destroyed God wants to step in but there is a limitation because the covenant does not allow him to operate based on that what the Holy Spirit can do is to grant you access to light to know what you need to do that takes away the barrier are we together now yes between you and God and your breakthrough and testimony there are barriers principally foundations there are foundations that keep speaking woes of ill health there are foundations that speaks woes of failure the only way you eat is by being a servant you never can rise to a position of influence whether as a man of God as a businessman it does not care whether you are in America whether you are wherever it does not matter do you know Nathaniel said about Jesus can anything good come out of Nazareth didn't you see what happened to Samson was Samson not a Nazarene you think Samson just lay down and told a lady to cut his hair you think he was that stupid when you have that kind of power will you be that foolish don't downplay the power of foundations it can keep quiet for 10 years you will think you are fine but by the 11th year it will come and pull you down and cancel everything the house that fell that was built on sand it didn't fall from day one there was a time that both houses were nice if they even told you to pay for the house you may prefer the house on sand to the house on the rock wait until the storms come wait until the wind blows that's why you can see someone who is a billionaire for 25 years then by the 26th year the foundation says have been quiet and in one year everything goes down one year shame comes a ministry can blow some for many years and then it's like an ignition from the realm of the spirit and boom, just like balloon everything goes down but i know whom i believe and i'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day against that day against that day now there are some of you you may not be poor listen we're about to pray you may not be poor but you never have helpers in your life everything you get comes directly from you that's a terrible way to live everything if a door must open you are the one who must open it if you must eat it must come from your hand you do not know the help of God hallelujah a man of God you are in ministry you pay all the bills by yourself you pay nobody sees you and say no I believe in what you are doing I'm standing with you it's a spirit it's a spirit it's a spirit I know someone who was walking and what he uses for his transport from where he was staying sincerely speaking at the end of it when we calculated it it was not more than 10,000 that was left that means you are working you know, but what you are earning 
subtract transportation and the rest and at the end of it what you are really earning is 10,000 there are spirits that fight and destroy breadwinners of families the moment it identifies that you are the one God is using to bless a family here comes that thing it will pull you down so you go to a region and only find old people where are the young people the spirits know that the, he will take care of Baba and Mama and it will fight you. You can see a young person sitting down and there is absolutely nothing working in his life. Two prayer points and I'll begin to minister within the time I have left. Tonight God wants to shake away this thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. I was told a story of, I think it was the Billy Graham Institute that because they wanted to preserve they wanted to preserve the institute and some of the monuments you know just like baba baba deboyes you know former house and all of that and that they had to bring engineers they dug through the ground and they carried the building out from the foundation and relocated it to another region and put it down there that's right that's what is happening to somebody this night hear me you don't renovate foundations uh -uh. if it is not working there is that spiritual bulldozer that can dig to the ground and carry you is it not in your bible that god can pick a man from a dunghill it's a location and place him somewhere else So what if I came from my region? Must I carry the cost that comes with that region? So what if my forefathers served idols? Did the realm of the spirit not hear when I made my declarations of faith? Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted, ancient doors. Listen, I prayed this for myself, I prayed this for this ministry, and I said in my lifetime, I will see the glory of the Lord, and no power of darkness is going to cut short the manifestation of that glory. It does not matter what the devil wants. Listen, victory can be seen. You can know that the hand of God is upon your life hallelujah two prayer points and when it's time to pray please let me plead with you in jesus name if you can for the sake of this prayer pair yourselves into three like we did the last time just these three prayer points and fire will fall in find anybody if you don't have a partner that's all right but we are going to pray if your neighbor is not serious please leave him alone we are serious this, this is this is a destiny altering moment Say after me in the name of Jesus I decree and declare By the blood Of the eternal covenant Right now I declare Every negative foundation Every altar Speaking against me By the blood of Jesus destroyed now go ahead and pray